json handling in power app json the javascript object notation it's a representation of any data whenever you call any api you will get the data is in the format of either is in the json or in the xml but generally json is widely used in power automate we have the connector that can be used to get the data from the json format in but in power we were not having that type of feature so now we have added the new function the microsoft has added the new function that is the parse json function that can be used to get the data from the json format hi everyone this is prashant chaudhary i welcome you all to my channel classic power app in this video we'll be seeing how we can actually generate the json and how can we get the data into our tables from the json string json is actually used to send the array or maybe the any type of for multiple rows from one place to another place whenever you need to send some multiple rows from power app to power automate you first convert them into the json and then you send them okay so we also need to understand how we can generate the json data and later once we get the json data how we can generate the table from that json format data okay so without wasting any time i'm just navigating to my screen so i'll create the new app let's say test json i'm using the tablet layout only i'll try to create the two different cases where in one case you have one array and in another, another case you will have one table okay so first we will understand let's say we have one array okay so in order to generate one array i'll use one button the button says generate array okay and on the on select i use one clear clear collect function i'll create one collection let's say call array in this i am storing some values let's say one okay num lock one two five seven three eight ten nine okay so i'm using these some values and post this one okay so what i'm missing okay instead of curly brace i need to use the list bracket because i'm passing the static values now in order to show the, those values into some control i need to add one gallery and i have added that gallery to my collection i don't need this one and let's remove this one and this is the size of this okay so let's see we generate the array and we get the data in the gallery okay now we need to convert that data that table into the json okay so how we'll do this do this just close the top yes okay now we add one more button and that is actually used to generate the json string from this table okay so in order to show the string i need i'm just showing it this string from the label let's say i've added one label yes and let's give it any type of color on the generate json i remove this one and write i'll store the json string into one variable okay so in order to use the variable i need to use set function and let's say where json variable json okay this is my name of my variable in which i'm going to store my json data and that json data belongs to that collection only so json and my collection name is actually call array so i use this one only call array close close so and this should showing me what to where json the name of my collection variable where json 
okay let's see how the json would be look like just click on this and we get something here because it's a type of a string okay it's actually a json string which is containing the data okay so this is the json string now our task is to convert that json string back to the table okay so what we do we use one more button and now that button name is generate actually parse parse json parse would be the right word and now what we do we store those data back to the table in order to enable that parse json function you need to first check with your settings let's go to the settings and in the setting upcoming feature just search for the json and you have one feature which is parse json function and untyped object you need to just turn it on okay then that function start working in your app just close this one and now i'll add i'm just copying this scale and here i'm re removing these items from this okay now on the click of this button i can also remove that button because i don't need this let's say i'm using only this gallery on the gallery what i can use i can use the parts json function first okay because i i try to minimize the number of control used in my power app that's it okay so i use parse json and the input where i need to pass the json string that json string is actually my this my variable where json okay so i pass where json and close this one if i if i complete select this i need to just tell what is exactly is so i'm just saying if you can see it is that type of untyped object so i would say to my app that this is type of table okay so i close all into the table function okay now if i just select all and expand this i get some things here untyped use type this all the stuffs it means data is coming but it, it's data type is actually untyped okay so we need to show in order to show the values what we can do we have the controls here on the controls whenever we need to show something we write this item dot value okay as the column name is also the value so i write this item dot value dot value and that value should be caps and again it is type of untyped object so i need to enclose all of them into the value because my numbers are in the integer format so here you can see i get my data back okay from my first i generated the collection then i generate my json format and again i generate my json format back to the table okay so this is something we have done for our array now if you would like to do it for the multiple let's say for any type of table where, where you would having a sub a number of columns so let's add one more and just duplicate this one okay duplicate and here you will generate the table let's say call array it would be like say call table and here i'm just passing only two names like two column data okay let's say name and value i'm passing let's say prashant and second column is my age and uh, it's let's say i'm passing integer value 15 okay so and i copy the all and after that i comma pass one more which is let's say name is rahul and age 
no my not age is not 12, 15 actually my age is 23 and rahul's age is, let's say 25 only and we close this one there's seeing some error in the this one at least it should not show any error just making this as it is only okay let's try to create the collection okay let's see whether that collection will be created or not so its name is called table so i use table see those errors is actually coming because of the slow internet maybe let's play this one and let the array okay let's remove this one now i'm not sure like why this error is coming let's delete it and create the new screen new screen blank screen and here i'll add the button and i pass use the same only it would be clear collect all table And in the item I need to pass say name Shant and age day three. Okay, and I copy the copy this one. Okay, I'm, not sure. I'm a bit confused but is seeing some error if I use table at the starting work it is seeing some problem with this name maybe we just check I'm just pausing it yes guys so i find that error okay because i was using double quotes from and close the name so i'm just using on the duplicate screen of this okay and i try to make it little fast because i'm just running out of time so the collection with the call table name and i pass it two columns okay so i use this call table here and now i'll try to create the collection like this and i have one more if i say it like that it's his age okay so here you can see i get the collection of two table now json i need to connect generate the json so i write call table and see how it actually works uh, come to the play mode generate json and here i can see i get the different data now as the data is stored in the same and it is using the same variable i need to just fix these things so now i don't have the value let's try what comes here but it says first it would be the value next would be the let's say age i'm using age and i close this one again not showing let's say this dot dot value dot name is uh, it's the capital a okay so please keep in mind this would is case sensitive and would not give you the suggestion so it was capital age not the small one okay and in order to show the uh the name i'm adding one more here only i can show and instead of capital a, i use capital n M -A -N -A. and now it is not the value it's the string so i pass text so here you can see how i get the data and if you like to generate more things you can use the index function as well if you like to access single element let's say if i use